I'm James from Gamefront, and I owe you five push-ups for that unsavory death. Unsavory? It's not a good death. Well, the death that I'm paying these five push-ups for specifically is not that bad of a death. Honestly, it was really close to winning, but I still, I owe five. I'm going to do five. Here it goes. <clears throat> One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Oh, I'm sorry. I did an extra one. I'm not going to take it away from the others. I just usually when I'm doing push-ups, I do them in at least increments of ten. Five silly. But when you only die one time, it fades all you get to do. So I figured I'd give a small excuse, and you're probably going to hear me tell this story like all the other stories of mine that I tell over and over throughout the years. But this is a doozy. So one of the reasons I've been MIA for a couple of weeks is just everything got spun upside down. I shaved my mustache. Uh, it usually takes a lot for me to shave my mustache, but I was going through what I thought it was an existential crisis. Uh, a, a crisis that was going to take a... It, it, it's, it's, nonetheless, it's going to change my everyday life. My agent, and I'm not going to give names because, gosh, I've been talking to de a detective in the Van Nuys Police Department about this scenario, and he's upset with other people that have been victims of this agent and saying that this deadline article, which maybe I'll post the deadline article, I'm not going to say anything personally, but if it could be construed as defamation and, like, it's going to complicate the case. But here's the story. I had an agent for five years, and uh, while it took a while to get my money from commercials that I did, um, and I had warnings back in January. I heard somebody say, such and such person never got paid at all, or such and such person got paid, but that check bounced. And I was like, well, I've never had a problem, and he's gotten me good work for five years now. And then in January, I booked a commercial. In February, I booked a commercial, and I hadn't been paid for jab January. In March, I booked a commercial, hadn't been paid for February or, or January. And then all of a sudden, in April, I'm like, hey, where's my money? And I'm nervous already. I'm like, you know, you owe me dollars. And at first it was like, it, I would send emails, no response. Then I would call, it would ring and ring and ring, it would go to voicemail. Uh, but the voicemail was full, so I couldn't leave a voicemail. Then a few days later, it was like, call, 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 ring, click, phone number's disconnected. Uh, and I was like, oh my, this is, I mean, this is crazy. That Not only am I not going to go out, like, because I, I have to fire this agent. I fired him. And now I, I haven't had an audition in a couple of weeks. It's uh, a a downtime for commercials in general this time of year but i knew when i when i let go of my agent i was like man this is gonna be uh, a couple week crisis going on just dealing with this legally gathering checks like i i'm probably never gonna my wife does not like to hear this i'm probably never gonna get those checks it's he owes hundreds of i don't know about hundreds of thousands but more than a hundred thousand dollars is not being paid and i'm a drop in the bucket for the so I'm realistic. I'm probably not going to see that money. But I also know on top of that, I'm not going to be able to get any auditions without an agent. Without an agent, you really, like, you can self-submit, but it uh, slows down to almost a halt. So I shaved my mustache. I was like, well, let's take control of it. Cause, because every time I've shaved my mustache, I get no auditions, which is why I grow the, the mustache in the first place. I used to love using it as a bedding tool, but it's now not a bedding tool. It's a bread on the table tool. So, so that's why I've been a little bit missing in action. The good news is I have gathered all of the paperwork, submitted it to the detective in Van Nuys. Uh, on May 24th, I'm gonna, this person is going to be served papers. Um, and I'm going to have to take him to small claims court. Um, likely he's not going to show up because he's completely missing. Nobody's going to be able... I mean, he's not missing. He's cashing checks. That part's not missing. But I don't know if he's going to get served or if he'd show up to small claims. But even at that point... I mean, this is probably more than you want to know. But even at that point, if he's not there, it's like, okay, well, he owes you such and such amount of money. Then there's an additional step of getting this certified by the courts so that even if he, like, one day... When he does uh, resurface, if he makes more money, he has to pay me back my money, which I feel is fair. Now, 
all of that aside, I don't want to get into the personal natures of this agent, but I really, and, uh, people don't want to, like people that he, he owes money to don't want to hear this, but I don't, it, his life's over. His life's ruined. He had an idea of being a career agent representing people in TV shows, commercials, and something happened. I don't know what it was, but that dream's done. He got his SAG franchise ripped away from him. And I don't wish that on anybody, but I want my money. Know what I mean? So now that all that's done, I'm probably going to have more time than usual because, unfortunately, I'm not getting out into the audition room. Fortunately, I'm going to have so much game time. I'm going to, I'm probably going to be, look at this already. Look at this. These are those Sekiro muscles. <laughs>